its last video, post-production video, in which, firstly, I will show you how to add a depth of field on the image with ZDEP channel. Also, I will show you some tips, and uh, lastly, I will show you how to add a background for the image. Okay, so let's open these two images into the Photoshop, select them and open. Uh, now, go, we can with Ctrl A select the image and with Ctrl C copy it. We don't need it anymore so we can close and go to the channels, create a new channel and with Ctrl V copy it. Go back there and now go to, well maybe let's fit on screen and go to the filter, blur and lens blur. Okay, select source alpha 1, it's a our our ZDEP channel image and now you can control the radius and see how it affects the image. You can uh, select the image, uh, the place and it will concentrate on the place. For example, you can select this plane and it will concentrate but it's not good so we need to decrease the radius to 6 for example but it's too much so type in 4 and it's good now and you see we added some minor but uh, a very good uh, depth of field for the image I never use very strong depth of field of course you can adjust uh, some settings make uh, the distance between white and black color uh, longer and uh, you will be able to add much uh, more uh, depth of field but in my case I am using this amount okay then you are done you can uh, save your image leave PNG and I am going to override it save okay well, when we are done, we can back to the place and uh, open the image. The, uh, I have uh, saved it as a PNG, so let's open it. And you can see that our image is uh, quite uh, dark. So go to image, adjustments and exposure. And now we can make it uh, lighter it's good you see the value and change and nothing more just go to the filter distort and lens correction and now we can add uh, chromatic aberration I'm using uh, uh, the values less than 10 8 and 8 and uh, as you can see it gives some red and green color on the corners it is not visible but uh, you can feel it just uh, when you look on the image and the last thing for uh, we need to desaturate these uh, colors because we are too saturated but we only want to desaturate uh, this place uh, not these so go to image adjustments and replace color now we can select the colors and you will see what place will be changed and now we can change saturation much more better and uh, well it wasn't the last thing the last thing which I am using uh, for example for the renderings I am applying a, a setup so go to the actions and I am going to use a preset from the HHP free presets. You can download it for free and using a everyday boost vintage. So click and play selection and you see how our image changed 
and it changed uh, very good the preset is pretty nice but it's too strong I think so we should save this image as and type in preset GP well maybe a PNG format and save well maybe exit and now you see the press it and this this image so you can open the press it again and open the test Ctrl A to select everything, Ctrl C copy, exit and Ctrl V to paste it. Let's make it lighter. Good. And now we should play the layers. This will change the visibility. So type in 30% and now the image it's it's not too to I don't know how to name it but to saturated maybe it's it gets more realist realism and it's good so this is the way I am uh, po making a post production for uh, the images and we only left to uh, show how to add a background for uh, the image. The main thing uh, you have to do is to enable an alpha uh, map in the V-Ray frame buffer menu and then receive your render into a PNG file format. You can open it with Adobe Photoshop now and of course open a background Ctrl A, Ctrl C and exit and Ctrl V. Good, but the background should be under the render, so grab it and change. You see, now we have changed a position of layers, but it still doesn't look good. So we have to right click and change the perspective much more better now grab this and you see the image is too dark so let's make it lighter again and well uh, this uh, place burns so we should change the color in another way Go to shadow highlight and give 70% of amount. Now it's better, but uh, the image is the background still doesn't look good, and it doesn't look good because it's too saturated and uh, too dark. So go to exposure and add more exposure also go to the image adjustments and the hue saturation and desaturate it not totally but a little bit and also it has too much of uh, blue color so we should replace color and change saturation good and also go to selective color scenes and change it so this is it we have added a background for the image you see the reflections are still on the windows because we've been using a alpha map and so this is it 
good luck in renders and I'm saying you goodbye.